It's about growing up, it's about discovering yourself. It's amazing, and there's so much tension and darkness. The characters are so well developed. There's a lot of depth to each character. They go on these really exciting missions. Yeah, so you can tell immediately that all of a sudden we're out of kitty land. It's about realizing that everyone has inner power that they have to figure out a way to deal with. Each character is very different. Sort of more life and death stuff. The overall tone seems to be a little bit more desperate. It's chaotic. The Akatsuki are after him. The stakes are higher. It's pretty fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's great. I remember seeing it for the first time and just being blown away by it. It's my kind of show, even though I don't watch it. Well, I do watch it, but I watch it like four seconds at a time. Well, the theme of uh, Naruto, the classic Naruto, was belief in yourself. And uh, I think the theme for, or we've said that this, the theme for Shippuden is belief in others, belief in the people around you, belief in the people you surround yourself with. And it's about overcoming things that don't go your way and about learning that, you know, nobody gets what they want right off the bat. Nobody, nobody. You learn how to Take things that don't go your way, learn from them, and come back stronger. Not only that, his timing with the Shadow Clone is improved as well. In Shippuden, Naruto has grown so much. He's stronger, more mature. He has more skills, more ninjutsus. You know, he's been training for two and a half years. So he's been focusing for two and a half years, which is a lot different than the old Naruto, who was a little scattered and unfocused. I sort of had to readjust my thinking in the character, and it wasn't just making my voice a little bit deeper, which it was, and more mature. It's also a mindset. It's not just how they sound, it's their complete attitude. And it's kind of funny because even though it's stronger, it's much more vulnerable. You know, because as a kid, you're kind of innocent. So everything you say might be a little more cavalier, a little loosey-goosey. But when you're an adolescent, everything's so important. There's a lot of flashbacks to young Naruto and to hear, you know, the difference. Sometimes I feel like maybe we're not making that much of a difference vocally, but then you hear, you know, the lines pulled from episode two, episode four, and you're like, wow, you were really young and, and cute. I want to try on your headband. Come on, please. Parts of that old Naruto, the little Naruto, will slip out, you know. He'll be really goofy or say something inappropriate to Sakura. Already you're annoying. Shut up. But at the same time, He's got these mad, crazy skills. One minute, he's this strong ninja who has all this training, and he's been trained by Jiraiya and all these great um, jutsus that he knows. And then the next minute, he's like sniping over ramen or something. It's absolutely... Oh, man, I forgot. I haven't had a bowl of ramen from Ichiraku since I got back. Doesn't make much sense, but I think it's like everybody in the world. Sakura has been spending the last two and a half years under the tutelage of Lady Tsunade. She's been learning uh, how to become a medical ninja. So, uh, just a little bit deeper than she has been before, right, a little okay. bit more, <clears throat> slightly more mature. And this I'm is the first older, time has come so I'm not really years. like a little girl okay. anymore. Cool. I've kind of moved on, come into my own a little more, and I'm just more powerful. Sakura has become unbelievably strong, stronger than I think I ever expected or probably anybody ever expected, maybe she ever expected. This is major strength, you know, it's not just that. And I was kind of shocked, like, oh, she really does something that huge and strong, like, like the guys do. Lady Tsunade was key in getting a four-man team developed so that there was always a medical ninja when they were out in battle. There were four, three uh, battle ninja and one medical. So if anything happens, the medical ninja is there to save their lives, you know, heal their wounds, whatever. I think before they saw her more as just kind of maybe whiny little girl or something, but now they like that she's tough. Stop! As far as my voice goes, I mean, it's not difficult. It's more like my natural speaking voice, just kind of right in here, as opposed to the other Sakura who was just more up here and she was younger. What do you think? Do I seem more like a woman to you now? Are you kidding? Not really. You haven't changed at all. <gasps> so she, I think, is a little more self-conscious of that, and that matters to her more. So, looks like the fifth Hokage's been teaching her more than just medical ninjutsu. 
Kakashi starts out as uh, the sensei's sensei. He is incredibly powerful and he doesn't seem to have a lot of patience for, for people that don't know what they're doing. So early on, it's all about getting his team up to speed. It's about finding out exactly what Naruto and Sakura are capable of. By this point in the story, he sees them much more as equals and much less as students. In his eyes, they've accomplished some things and enough that he can respect them for being independent and capable on their own. Since I'm not just a lover, I'm a fighter, I like the showdown between Sakura and, uh, and Naruto and I, sort of the retake of the capture the bells scene, just because it's great to see how much stronger they've gotten. And Sakura hits the ground. She realizes that Kakashi is hiding underground and she hits the ground full force, causes a giant earthquake. And there's Kakashi with these giant white eyes going, oh my gosh. You know, he's completely shocked by it. I think we all are. Plus she wears these really hot leather gloves, so that's kind of cool too. Kakashi's a guy that's not used to being uncomfortable. He sort of has that cool confidence that no matter what happens, he's gonna win. For the first time, Naruto actually uses his brain. Um, he figures out his opponent's major weakness and uses it against him. What? No, no! Turns out the hero actually is not a- Oh no. Because of the Sharingan, I can still read his lips. <laughs> I think he really did use his head. Whether he realizes it or not, he actually did outsmart Kakashi. Oh. <laughs> As just about all of us know, if not, you'll know soon enough. Uh, when you hit puberty, it's probably the most, uh, or can be the most traumatic, confusing, <laughs> Uh, time of your life. You're going through growth spurts, not only physically, but emotionally. You're trying to figure out who you are and what your strengths are. You wake up in the morning and suddenly you're like, hey man, how's it going? You try as hard as you can and there are lots of stumbles and pitfalls and emotions along the way. Hair in strange places. It's as if a huge storm has come into your life or a huge wind to basically shake up the foundation of everything you are as you grow into adulthood. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, am I? The relationships just kind of get a little more layered now that they're teenagers. And I know that I am starting to have different kinds of feelings for Naruto. He seems more grown up since the last time I saw him. So add to that the fact that, oh, by the way, people are trying to kill you every time you turn around. And I'm guessing turbulent times is a good way to describe what's happening. When you're an adolescent, everything's so important. And even though, you know, for Naruto, he is doing really important work. He's really hard on himself. It's a whole attitude change that I had to come, come into, and Mary Elizabeth really helped me with that. Also, Mary Elizabeth and I have worked together at this point for almost a decade, and I could not like her less. She's a nightmare. I can't wait to see what happens. Can you? <laughs> Preview. No, I'm just kidding. She's fantastic. She's probably, honestly, the best director I've ever worked with. She's a real actor's director because she is an actor herself. Now she knows everything. She can remember every little detail, every little character. Okay, so really weighing out your opponent. What is she like? And she's not a child anymore. You need to treat her as an adult, so give it that edge of how am I gonna beat her because gotcha. she's that strong. <clears throat> she's very strong. You definitely need someone to point out, you know, those differences in emotion. So uh, the first one is just the don't. And no, heh, heh, don't worry about that. And stuff. sometimes what you don't realize is that there's been the maybe a month or two months or six months between recordings for us. She keeps all of that stuff and can get you, she keeps it all in her head and she can get you up to speed in seconds. You've always been very strong physically. And she genuinely, honestly, earnestly cares that we tell you the best possible story that we can. So here's the thing, Naruto gives you the brand new chapter, or the brand new book that Jiraiya has been writing. They're uh, just uh, they wonderful characters and we're really lucky to actually have these fantastic actors coming in uh, to voice them. That will be enough of that.
He's growing up right before Just get in there and try and make as real a you know, get as real a performance as possible from them. So it sounds like, because they come in one at a time, so they usually don't have anybody to play off of. Do I seem more like a woman to you now? Are you kidding? Not really. As yeah. much as I love the funny moments, and I'm a comedic actor, mostly, uh, it's fantastic to be able to play all the drama. Sort of that painful longing that Naruto feels, you know, trying to look for Sasuke. Miley really brings that to life. You know, we had to pitch her voice down, mature her up a little bit. I really should stop acting like such an idiot when I'm around Sakura. Because everyone is two and a half me. years older, they're all a little bit more mature. They're dealing with more, much more mature subject matter. It's Naruto and Sakura, the dose of y'alls. <laughs> Less uh, joyful for me, suddenly Kakashi's mouth moves when he talks. I didn't have to deal with that before. Everything was like this. Oh yes, it's funny you should ask because I was just over there. And now it's, oh yes, I did. I'm out. Uh, he split. Ninjutsu, like a new pervy. Okay, this is sometimes you want to have a pencil on hand, folks at home. The lip and flap. This is kind of quick. Oh, okay. say the lips are moving. But the line the person wrote is only Naruto, get back here. So you say Naruto, get back here, and the lips are still moving, and that becomes, you know. The, it's Mary on the spot who has to kind of rewrite it and come up with extra syllables and words to fill in those. There also seems to be a little bit of question on the part of everyone as to what the correct pronunciation should be. Kunoichi, 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 kunoichi. And the subtleties are so small, but they're so specific. And it's one of those words that we all had an impossible time yes. trying to get right. It's nice to have people around that actually know what the word is supposed to sound like, because then they go, no, that's not right. Not uh, absolutely wrong. No, 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 no. Mo, uh, chi, less e. Mm. Great. Awesome. I'll do that. Because of the change in tone of the show, I think fans are going to be excited to see sort of the new powers and the new... Uh, discoveries that each of the characters are making about themselves and about each other. And they really are people, and they've got such specific characteristics to their personalities. And I just want to say, girls rock and cha! I don't want to give anything away, but I have a feeling that there is something we haven't done before that we will be doing soon. After that, I encourage you to check out the interweb. Now this takes me back! The village hasn't changed a bit! I'm home, everyone! Naruto Uzumaki has returned to the Hidden Leaf Village!